Welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Dan Thomas, joined in the studio today by Craig Burley. We also welcome to the program. Look at this lineup. Shaka Hislop is here, as is Frank LeBeuf. And live from Australia, joining us as well is Julianne Laurent. Jules, why does everyone want to leave PSG? <laughs> Ah, that's a good question. How long do we have? We go straight in. Uh, he wants to leave, I think, because Messi has left, because Kylian Mbappé is on his way too, because I think at 31, he feels that something is broken with the supporters. Remember what happened last season when they turned up to his house to basically tell him to get out. So all those things put together, plus the fact that things haven't always been great for him in Paris, means that despite the very lucrative contract that he still has at the club, it feels that it's the right time to go now. Can you hear that noise? What's that noise? There's like a road in the background. Somebody's near a road and it's not us. <laughs> no, it's right. not. It's behind us unless, here. Unless <laughs> this campus has moved to the side of the, uh, the 72. Uh, Jules, where's he going to go? Well, I think Barcelona is the, um, is the dream for him to go back there. We know that Joana Porta will be quite keen on bringing Neymar home, Neymar back. I'm not sure Xavi feels the same now, but remember also what he said a few a couple of months ago when rumours already were there about Neymar and Barcelona and he said like, OK, I like him a lot, but this is not the priority here. We've got other things that we want to do with this team, which is still the case, even now that Dembele has gone to PSG. So I think Neymar would love to go back to Barcelona. I think this is the only club in Spain he would like to play for. I think it's probably the only club that he would be very happy to leave PSG for. The thing with Barcelona, as always, is can they afford him? Can they pay the 36 million euros gross a year that PSG are paying him? Can he take wow. a pay cut? Is he a loan? Is he a transfer fee? Is he a loan with a fee? There's a lot of things to still happen before him to be back. But I think ideally that's where he wants to play next season. And then you've got to ask yourself, is he really worth it? And what would and your answer to that would be? Same as it was from the boys yesterday. No, not at that price, not with that baggage. Uh, I heard you talking about Chelsea. That's another place that Pochettino has enough problems uh, to sort out. And so it's a difficult scenario for him because here we have one of the most talented players of his generation, but there's a lot of baggage there. Mm. There's a lot of injury problems there now. It's big salary, uh, all that that goes with it. And then you're going back to Barcelona, potentially where Xavi's only just been fending off the messy questions until into Miami popped up. And that sort of ended that when he was saying all the right things, you know, yeah, we'd like Messi back here and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And we really knew that he wanted to go in a different direction. Why would that direction have changed in a couple of months mm -hmm. when he's going down or they're going down a younger route, uh, a bit of a hybrid model with a team with the experience of Lewandowski. Now Alba's gone, now Busquets is gone. Messi's not the story anymore. Why would you want to, after winning La Liga, upset the apple cart and a player who is talented but is desperate, desperate for a move? And I really don't see. I could see. I could see Saudi. I could see this being another Saudi Arabia hit. Sure. I just can because I don't know who else is going to really pay what he wants. Frank, would you want him at Chelsea? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Of course not. Doesn't make any sense. Any everything that we are. We are seeing right now, it doesn't make any sense. You know, that guy has a problem, you know, with his fitness, his performances, and even his attitude. And, uh, and, and, uh, and he says himself that he wants to leave Paris Saint-Germain. For where? Because at the end of the day, you know, I don't know if there is one club, maybe none, who are interested about that, 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 uh, that guy because of the salary that he has, because of the performance that he had, and because of the wage that he gets. So, uh, that he gets. So, uh, really, I, I don't... I don't see any big clubs, you know, interested about him because of so many question marks, you know, over him. So I'm um, with Craig. Only Saudi Arabia could be interested, could get, get a big cash and, uh, and be happy with that. But uh, he, he has a chance to, to show that Messi is not there and, uh, and uh, Mbappe might leave, that he can be the skipper of that team now that he wants to leave. For Barcelona, I don't see that coming. And I mean, Xavi has been politically correct uh, for Messi. As Craig mentioned before, uh, he, he does the same with Neymar. I think he doesn't want him because all his tactic that he made up uh, for the new Barcelona that we see doesn't include former players. 
uh, and mm. uh, he had to change because of the situation. So I don't see Neymar coming to Barcelona. I don't see Neymar coming to Chelsea. Don't forget that Pochettino had Neymar at Paris Saint-Germain, and he, and he escaped from Paris Saint-Germain because of the, the attitude of some players. So I don't see him coming to Chelsea as well. Shaka, a lot of people are blaming you for this because since you featured heavily in that Neymar documentary, <laughs> being very critical of him, it feels that he's, he's just never been right. Well, let, let's hope <laughs> that if he does go to Saudi Arabia, he takes me along with him and gives me a little piece <laughs> of whatever's coming his way. Listen, uh, tr truth be told, they, they, I, I don't see him ending up anywhere else. I don't think any big clubs in, in Europe take him on for the wages but that, that he commands. And um, I, I think if you do take on Neymar, you have to build a team entirely around him. The other nine outfield players all have to do, all have to cover for his, his lack of effort in, in, in so many regards. Um, and then uh, you understand Barcelona kind of suggesting that, that they want to sign him, which they did with Lionel Messi, but couldn't really make much of a concerted effort. They still haven't completed the signing of, of Gundogan, so I'm not sure how they're going to splash more money on, on, on Neymar. Um, and so as a result, thank goodness Saudi Arabia have announced themselves to world football. Otherwise, I don't see where Neymar would have gone but, but to stay in Paris. That's Saudi Arabia is the only likely destination for me. Do you remember we the uh, Spanish Super Cup in, ironically, Saudi Arabia? Yes. One of the keys to that performance that day, which was one of Barcelona's best uh, in a successful season, certainly domestically, was not only did they outplay easily Real Madrid, but they outfought and they outran them. They outworked them. Yeah. And it was about the youngsters. That was where Pedri and Gavi were just Pedri, brilliant. Pedri, Gavi, all these sort of younger guys, Dembele, who's not younger, but he's pacey. All these people working hard, Frankie de Jong, around the very experienced and more than capable Robert Lewandowski. So you couldn't throw in a Neymar as well. You've got a guy in his mid-30s up front. You've got another guy who'll turn that on now and again and won't run about, run about. So you're now covering two backsides. It just doesn't work. Their success was about quality. It was about energy. It was about work rate. And then that supplemented Lewandowski up front. Mm. You don't want to upset that by bringing in somebody who effectively, during a lot of games, you're going to have to carry. Not happening. September the 1st, where's he going to be, Jules? It's a good question, Dan. I mean, for PSG, the, the positive in a way is that Neymar has said, OK, now I'm happy to go. Last, last, last summer, he, they already tried to sell him, remember? And he was like, no, no, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay. Now for PSG, who've been wanting to sell him again all summer, Pini Zahavi, who is Neymar's agent, who is very close to Nasser Al Khalaifi, to people at PSG, has been trying hard. And we've mentioned before the links with Chelsea. So Burley and El Halaifi have made a couple of times to talk about Neymar specifically. But, but, but so far, nothing has been happening. For now, for Neymar to say, OK, I'm happy now. I want to go. I want... Uh, Pini is going to try to find me a club. And ideally, it's Barcelona. So for PSG, this is really good news. However, like we've all been saying, between what Neymar wants and PSG wants for him to go, and him actually going, there's a lot of work to be done. And, and frankly... Even if everybody is very happy to work in the same direction for Neymar to leave the club, I still don't think he will leave because of all the because of the money, because of who who can afford him. I'm not sure he really wants to go to Saudi Arabia. Although last night people were telling me that maybe maybe he could be open to go. I still don't see him going at all. So I I think that he might well be a PSG player come September first. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.